So there are just a couple of other things that we need to cover and finish up with um, reference to the periodic table and to the elements that we've been uh, talking about. And um, the questions at the top of this video screen, um, how do we represent the elements on the periodic table? Meaning, you know, how do we talk about them? How do we write about them? How do we refer to them? What, what um, you know, it's not English. How do, we, how do we write about these? And so let's take a look at, at paragraph uh, 7. And um, and also paragraph eight. We'll just kind of quickly read those. There's not much that I need to say, so let's just go through these. Elements can be represented by chemical symbols. So chemical symbols are we're talking keyword here. Chemical symbols usually consist of one, two, or three letters. The first letter is always capitalized, and all the other letters are lowercase. Some common elements and their chemical symbols include carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and calcium. So, for example, if I'm talking about helium, which has two letters, the first letter of the symbol is H, and the second uppercase H, and the second letter would be a lowercase e. The same would be true of neon. The first letter is capitalized. The second letter is not. Fluorine, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon, boron only have one letter in the symbol. Hydrogen only has one letter in the symbol, but lithium and beryllium both have two letters. Again, the first letter is capitalized, the L is capitalized, the I is lowercase, and in beryllium also, the B is capitalized, the first letter, and the second letter is lowercase. So we can see this to be true uh, across the entire periodic table. So this is an important thing to understand, an important kind of a science grammar, if you will, that we need to understand about uh, the symbols the, that refer to the different elements on the periodic table. So <clears throat> um, let's take your green pencil and let's just make sure we have the, uh, the connecting uh, understanding. So elements can be represented uh, by chemical symbols. And what are chemical sim symbols? Chemical symbols are, um, are um, letters where the first letter is always going to be capitalized. The second letter is going to be lowercase. OK, so chemical symbols usually consist of one two or three letters. The first is always capitalized, the others are always lowercase. Okay, so let's take a look at, uh, at paragraph seven briefly and we'll, we'll move right on. Scientists have identified <clears throat> a little over 100 elements on the, periodic, on, on the periodic table and these are elements that occur uh, on our planet. Some of them we don't see in nature but we predict that they exist. However, only a limited number of elements from the largest portion of Earth's crust form the largest portion of Earth's crust, living matter and oceans in the atmosphere. Some of these predominant elements, predominant kind of means like the main ones, the main ones, the main ones, like the first 18 that we're looking at in periods 1, 2, and 3. So some of these main elements include silicon, aluminum, iron, sodium, calcium, potassium, magnesium, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon. And so um, these are simply the most commonly occurring commonly occurring elements in Earth's crust. So these commonly occur in nature. Okay? So um, there's really not a whole lot. So let's take our blue marker. There's not a whole lot to mark in these two. This is really, these are really kind of summary paragraphs kind of covering what we've already talked about. And so the main idea here that we really want to kind of make sure we have underlined is um, only a limited number of elements actually form the largest portion of Earth's crust. And actually there is about approximately...
20 to 25 elements that actually form most of the matter that we see uh, not only on Earth, but that also exists out in the universe. So, um, okay, paragraph seven and eight. Um, please, you know, pause this video and make sure you have this marked. There's a couple little notes here. Uh, if there's anything that I that we were talking about that you want to make a reference to, uh, please do that now, and then we'll move on to paragraph nine.